Welcome back to the She Shine Show. We are so excited to be joined by Veronica Payne, who is the founder and designer at Aura Ana. Welcome, Veronica. Hi, guys. Thank you for having me. We are so pumped to get into your story and hear all about your background and what made you take the leap into entrepreneurship, starting your business. So share with our viewers, what's your background and how did you get to where you are today? So I actually went to school with Alex and that's how we're all here right now. Um, I went to school there and then I transferred because I wanted to be more around a fashion influence city. I was doing my regular weekend shopping at a Bloomingdale's and for some reason I was like obsessing over the jewelry display cases on one of my trips there. Um, from there, I reached out to one of my friends and I was like, I'm not sure what happened to me, but I think I need to do something in jewelry. And of course she had a friend who was looking for an intern in jewelry design and then once working with her i started doing my own thing and then came or anna yeah wow amazing journey and i think that we were chatting about this a little bit before too like a common thread that seems to be in in your life and starting with college is like listening to your gut and just kind mm-hmm. of like following your spirit right like knowing okay this college isn't for me let me go somewhere else. I know I need to be more around fashion. And then now you're around fashion and it's like, okay, I'm going shopping. I don't know what it is, but I am drawn to this jewelry. Let me follow up on that. And then connecting with your friend who connected you to a jewelry designer, you know, and it's so much not just about following your passion, but having the determination and persistence behind that, right? Because if you didn't follow up, you're like, oh, this jewelry case looks really great. And then if you just (laughs) went home, you know, like who knows where you would have been. So I I just really love that you not only follow your passions, but you, you have the determination and persistence to, to keep following them and seeing where it takes you. Mm Mm-hmm. And the wherewithal to right off the bat, tap into your community by phoning a friend and yes. being like, hey, so <laughs> this happened today. What, uh, what do you think? So speaking of community, you know, we are huge on the importance of community in not only your, your business, like your income, your visibility, everything. Mm-hmm. I mean, your community, it can consist of your, your customers. We just believe you cannot grow a successful business without community. Mm -hmm. So tell us how you have grown community around Aura Ana and how it's played a role in your growth. You definitely have to have community. I completely agree with you guys. Um, I think that if you really want to be successful, you have to want to help other people share their stories, whether that's through Mm -hmm. jewelry or collaboration, however you're going to help empower others is also going to empower you. So um, I've had so many people to help uplift me, whether it's friends or um, companies like She Shines. And especially now with the quarantine and um, you know all the Black Lives Matter movements going on, there's been so many different people uplifting and reaching out to help um, Black owned businesses specifically. Mm-hmm. Um, outside of that, I've had so many friends who just encourage me day to day and just help me if I need something little, like um, just like photoshopping something. <laughs> There's so many people who are there and willing to help. And I think that's really amazing. And it helps get you through different stages that, you know, if I don't have to pay someone to photoshop, that's amazing. You know? Yes, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yes, you said it. I mean, with without the community behind you, like you don't have a business, you don't have a brand, right? But being able to like get your customers involved in, in what you're doing, like it makes them feel part of Orana and in turn, like turns them into friends, into that community who wants to support you and is going to talk about you to other people. So you get this beautiful like word of mouth and reshares. And like you said, other black business owners and, and black men and women supporting you for Black Lives Matter. And it's just like this beautiful revolving circle of like, uplifting, encouraging, community, uplifting, encouraging. You know? <laughs> like once you start, it just keeps going, you know, yes. it's like avalanching help and support. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the best of avalanches. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And yours has like gold and like encrusted jewels I on mean, the end yeah. of this avalanche. So. <laughs> So speaking of jewels, uh, we know the jewelry industry uh, can be considered pretty tough to break in. And um, we were chatting a little bit earlier before we we hopped on um, for the show. And you said it is a male dominated industry, but you have built 
a unique space for yourself in the jewelry world. So what would you attribute to the success of Orana standing out from the rest of the jewelry industry? So I would say that um, my own perspective, I have a one of one perspective, which everyone does. Your life story is unique to you. And if you're willing to share that and give of that to other people, you're going to stand out. You know, no one else can mm-hmm. offer what you mm-hmm. offer. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No one can be, or what is it? Uh, Jen Sincero, no one is you and that is your superpower. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if she actually said that. I could just be making up people. <laughs> But I, I absolutely, you're absolutely right though. If, if you know exactly who you are, what you have to offer, the value, the uniqueness of yourself, then no one else can duplicate it and it come across authentic and genuine. And you've been able to not only tap into that, but actually translate it into wearable pieces. So mm-hmm. that is like going a step beyond, <laughs> I feel that is amazing. So, you know, we've talked about your entrepreneurial journey and it just seemed like, boom, I was in Bloomingdale's one day and had my jewelry line the next, but we know that's not the case. It never is, right? So it's ups and downs, twists and turns. It's a roller coaster. And a lot of our community and viewers watching this struggle with imposter syndrome, especially in those early days of business. What is your advice to pushing through imposter syndrome on your business journey? And just to go back to that, the whole roller coaster, I think while you're in it, it sucks. And you're like, this is the worst day ever. And you're depressed. (laughs) But then when you look back, especially after you've had some success, you're like, I can't believe I went through that. And it's it's kind of like it's exhilarating almost to look back Mm -hmm. and say, look at how much I went through, even for just a small thing. And it's like, how boring would it have been if you didn't have that? It's like sure. Yeah, I just like you said, boom, I walked into Bloomingdale's and then now my jewelry's in Bloomingdale's, you know. Mm -hmm. And if it did, I I don't know if people would want to do it, you know. It's not like um, but yeah, our mantra at Oraana is to have women celebrate the small steps they're taking towards becoming the woman they're aspiring to be. So I think that's really important. Um imposter syndrome, everyone's gonna go through it. I went through it for a very long time. And I think you just have to push, you have to keep going. Um, That's how you know you're doing it. If you're uncomfortable, if you're feeling like this is stressful or it's too much, it means you're growing through something. And when Mm -hmm. you make it out on the other side, you did it. You know, like you are, you are that person that you're saying that you are. Yes. Yeah. Those growing pains. (laughs) That's what I was going to (laughs) say. We've been talking a lot about growing pains. We've been experiencing them, but we know we're on the edge of something great, but you just have to keep going. Like Mm -hmm. you said, absolutely. If it's too easy, you're probably not doing it. You're not doing it. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Oh my goodness. Well, thank you so much, Veronica, for sharing your journey with us and your advice on standing out in a saturated market, on growing a community around your brand and how to beat the inevitable imposter syndrome. Um, But before we let you go, can you tell everyone where they can connect with you and go stock all of your beautiful pieces of jewelry? Of course, everyone is welcome. You can (laughs) shop Oraana at Oraana.com. It's O-R-A-A-N-A.com. And then follow us on Instagram at Oraana Official. Awesome. And those are in your lower third. So definitely go check her out. And really quick, Veronica, what are you working on? So my new collection, which will be out this season, I'm super excited about it. I think I'm really biased, but I think it's the best (laughs) thing ever. Um, I, um, I really have a sense now after my first collection of what I want to say. So I was a psychology um, major. I have a psychology degree. I, I definitely had to learn so much about this industry. And so my first collection was like, um, okay, I I think I can make this, this looks really nice, but I kind of was on the safer side. Mm. So now it's a little bit bolder, Um, it's customizable. We're using semi-precious stones, everything is gold vermeil and silver. So the quality is scaling up, the design is scaling up, the packaging, everything is scaling up. I'm actually wearing- um, Yes, show us. Uh, I hope you can see it. Yes, <laughs> yes. So Love. it's actually beautiful. One of the first pieces. Um, we're not going to do this colorway. This is just a sample, but um, it's better in person. Like you have to see it in person. You have to wear it. I'm just really excited about it. And I hope everyone else loves it as much as I do. I love that. It keeps getting better every season, just like you. So <laughs> as you grow and evolve, so can your brand. 
And that is what we always say here at She Shines. Veronica, thank you so much for coming on here and chatting about all the things from building your community mm-hmm. to overcoming imposter syndrome, or rather just dealing with imposter yeah. syndrome <laughs> in your business, yes. standing out in the saturated market and so much more. We so appreciate you. And we hope you enjoyed this episode of the She Shines show. Until next time, keep shining. Hey there, I'm Anna Laura. And I'm Alex, and we are the founders of She Shines. So whether you are working full-time, you are a side business queen, full-time entrepreneur, or somewhere in between, we are here to support you. Yes, and we love doing that through connection, community, and girl talk, usually with a glass of champagne in hand. (laughs) And we would love to connect with you, whether it's through our She Shines Academy, through our podcast, through an event, or through our text fam. We would love to answer your questions and help support you any way that we can. We hope to hear from you soon. Cheers, girlfriend.